For, forget the Masters, forget Game of Thrones. The Rizzo Show starts right now, baby. Oh! MGM Northfield Park presents The Rizzo Show. And now, your host, Tony Rizzo, with co-host Mike Polk Jr. Woo! MGM, hey now! Hi, everybody. Look at that. Look how great the Rizzo. Wow, that looks really nice. How are you, Michael? I'm good. The Rock Cena was fun, but isn't MGM so much better? <laughs> isn't it really? Boy, can we suck up. Yes, it is. Mike, what a celebration it's been, too. This week out at MGM Northfield Park. Of course, they're our title sponsor, folks. They held their grand opening this week. Chris Kelly, uh, the president, uh, was there along with other dignitaries. Plenty of fans. Music playing. Regal. The lion was revealed. Yeah. The lion. Those are Cleveland Orchestra members. Look at the lion. That's gorgeous. There's a lot of history there, you guys. That's there, there really is. And I got to tell you, this is a very exciting time for Cleveland. We, really. we could be, we are very fortunate, seriously, to be sponsored by something. There's some, there's some real unimpressive, terrible sponsors probably out there, but we actually have a good one that we can actually have fun with. We do. We That's love good. MGM and we love that property. Could we, be like, have, we could be yeah. doing Dr. Scholl's Odor Eaters sure. or something like that. That's not sexy. I worked, Casinos, that's sexy. I worked at Northfield Park when I was a kid. Right. Yeah, there I worked out there when I was 20 years old. It was How? absolutely a ball. How far well, we've come? 15 well, minutes away. Here we are. Here right? we are. Boom. Folk, uh, from the Lions to the Browns. Michael, I'm getting a little pushback. Everybody was in love with the Browns a couple of weeks ago right. when they made this big trade for Odell Beckham Jr. Well, there's a couple of party poopers out there, including Fox own Colin Coward when it comes to the Browns. Take a look at this. Colin wrote, and I quote, nobody will be honest about this Cleveland thing. It has a chance to be a dumpster fire. Odell didn't want to go there. The owner's a control freak. Dorsey's a control freak. Freddie Kitchens could be in over his head. Let me take them one at a time. You okay. ready? Yeah, I'm listening. Um, first of all, Odell didn't want to be there. He's with his college roommate. Right. His friend from high school. Did you see the Nike ad they ran? I did. Them? It was Very really cool. cool. Yep. Very cool. Okay. Well done. He wants to be here, right? It, it, here's, you know what this is all about. Why are we listening to Colin Coward? Here's what this is. You, first of all, you do radio. You know you want to get, you want to, these, those clicks. You want that attention. And he's going for that now. And he, he made a mistake. What, sometimes these guys have a hard time admitting they were wrong. Prior to the draft, he said that he was undraftable because of his incident uh, where he ran from the cops that one time. And he just didn't like his size, didn't like him as a player. He's proving him wrong. You know who hates to be proven wrong? People with egos. And obviously, mm. he doesn't like the idea of being proven wrong. And he's got no, nothing to stand on. It's like you said. What's he basing this on? Is he basing it on the fact that uh, he that this was um, he broke the NFL record for rookie touchdowns last year? No, is he basing it on the fact that he broke the franchise record for no, no, I, yards? Michael, I think well, first of all, it's a bad read. The owner's not a control freak anymore. It's why we're good. John Dorsey's not a me guy. I don't know where he's getting. Freddie Kitchens, who knows? They, you got me on that. Right. I, nobody but knows we don't for sure. Know. We don't know. But I do know this. The owner's not a control freak anymore. John Dorsey not, right. I, doesn't have a giant ego. And Baker Mayfield's really good. But do you think that's right, though? you think it's about him not wanting to be proven wrong from that draft? And he's just yeah, got I, think, I think there's something to it. I think he's secretly hoping it's a dumpster fire because right. he, he said to, you know, early before the draft that Baker wasn't going to be any good. But let me and just say this. I also think it's a little Cleveland slam, Mikey. Yeah. I do. Going from we New York to Cleveland. We don't deserve nice things. Right. We right. don't like, deserve like, nice oh, things. Oh, he was in New York. Now he's coming to Cleveland. Right. Like, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. And more than anything, when I, I, I responded to that tweet, actually, and I told him, because I'm sure that matters, and I'm sure I really made a difference. <laughs> but what I told him was, and this is the truth. You oh, responded to I did. Him. But think about How this. How cute. What else? Like, what is, oh, no, don't take all of our rich history of football away from us. How could we fall? You know where we were yeah we had a decent season last year but it's not like w w oh no you're gonna add Odell Beckham put all these weapons in our team and and what are we supposed to get sad or are we supposed to like anticipate it being bad it's gonna we, let's look forward to it that's all one former quarterback who loves Baker and is exciting for the upcoming season is Bernie Kosar met up with him at MGM Northfield Park 
Well, I think first of all, for this being April right now, it's and not to take a shots at anybody in the past, or anything, but it's amazing to see the phenomenal football team that, that Coach Dorsey and Coach Kitchens have put together. I mean, this is something I think we're all going to be super proud of. And um, don't want to set the bar too high right now, but us quarterbacks love receivers. So there's absolutely no way an, a quarterback or anybody offensively doesn't love seeing those type of weapons. Uh, Bernie has a very famous line, and it's so true. You are a product of what's around you. When you're a quarterback in the league, you'd be mm -hmm. the best quarterback in the world. If you don't have a good offensive line or any receivers to throw to, you're in serious trouble. The Browns have major weapons. They're not done, by the way. They still have the draft coming up. How would you like? How do you think Bernie would have liked back in the day to be looking down the field at Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry to toss to alongside Webster Slaughter and Brian Brennan? Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh yeah. Also, Byrne lost some LBs he looked there. Great. Lost B some BK, weight. You look great. Looking partner. good, Burn. Yep. Nice. Whatever you're doing, cardio. Don't forget the legs, though. Don't look too skinny down there. As we wait for the regular season schedule, do, 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 what do you want him to do? Some I want him to, yeah, keep it, crunches, keep ripping it. Yep. Uh, we do program, know the like. preseason schedule, Michael. Mm -hmm. We're going to open up. Interesting. The Browns are not on national TV for preseason. Right. And I think the reason is they like to put the rookie quarterbacks on, like Baker last right. year. We were on last year. They're saving the Browns for the regular season. We'll open That's with probably the skins. What that means. We travel to Indy. Remember, we practice with them that week. Yeah, that'll be cool. Then we play that game there. He's got then that. We, then John we go to, has that relationship with him. With the GM yeah. Ballard of Indianapolis. Good call. And the Buccaneers, well, that'll be about a 92-degree day down there. Right, we'll that'll be nice. That out. We end with the GLC, the Great Lakes Classic. Get that Browns barge back, Lions. everybody. You Where guys know. The there it is. That's the famous the, the barge. barge that no one cares about. No, it, I do. I just, do. I, that trophy's on the line for a preseason game. Yeah. That thing's, that's, but we have to drag that back if we win. Oh, we, it's here. So, yeah. By the way, that thing was the brainchild of Carmen Policy. I've yeah, got, perfect. I've got to get him way back in the day. He's like, let's get a little trophy I together. I think we should start caring about that more now. I think we should, the fans should be able to take over the barge because we really will care about it. So, give it to us and we'll take care of it. All right, the schedule's not out, but plenty of rumors going around on who the Browns might open with. And mm -hmm. Odell Beckham Jr. may have dropped a big hint this week on the matchup. He uh, tweeted out or Instagrammed out or whatever. <laughs> Snap, shoot he, He's alluding to the fact, Michael, it looks like what Tony Grossi told us a few weeks ago. Looks like the Browns are going to open up against the Jets on Monday Night Football. Do you like that? Yeah, it would be a blast. W do they really tell Odell Beckham about that before anybody else? He claims else? to have seen the schedule. I mean, I'm sure he has decent sources. Maybe he stuff. got it through the head and shoulders, people. That would be fine. I mean, we're going to be under this pressure. Might as well just throw us right in there and see see what happens. But, you know, let's, let's take a swing at it. Um, would you? like opening up Monday That'd be awesome. okay but folks by the way we've waited six months for the Brown season then we're gonna wait through the Thursday night opener then we're gonna wait through the whole Sunday schedule of games <laughs> and we're not gonna play the Monday night we might go out of our mind and I've told you this though I love this waiting it's the same reason that I find waiting for Christmas better than Christmas Day what I don't mind I like being excited about my team going into the season I like this anticipation oh, and you watching think them once build the this. season starts we're not gonna be excited enjoy the waiting folks don't wish the time away Mike the Indians need a vaccine yes the badly. injury bug is out and it won't leave them alone Picture Mike Clevenger, the latest victim. Look at this list. First of all, I heard, I don't know, they're considering surgery for Cle Clevenger That's now. That's the word. If that happens, forget it. Kipnis, calf, Lindor, ankle, Salazar, head, mm -hmm. I don't know. Hard to say. Zimmer, shoulder. I mean, you know, and now Clevenger is out. Look, folks, the Indians are a really good team. They're picked to win their division by most everybody. But you got to have healthy guys. I mean, you have to have your players that are in. We found out this week, the Tribe, uh, pitcher Trevor Bauer is human. Yes. Yeah. Even Trevor said he was human. He gave up. Uh, he gave up a few hits. Gonna have us. Nah. He gave up a few home runs. All right. Ten hits. Right. Four runs. Seven strikeouts. His ERA now is still at 2.29. First two games of the season he didn't give up a run. He lost his game a couple of days ago. Uh, you think maybe uh, Tito is wondering if he should have signed that extension? Well, no, ago. I don't think he'll worry about this. I'm not worried about it. But it is, uh, you know, especially with all those injuries and everything, it's a reminder of the, what we didn't do in the offseason, which was pick up some depth. And you know who would look good uh, right now is, is Mike, Brantley. Mike Brantley. That's who would look good was Michael Brantley. Gomes. Those are affordable players that would look good on that roster right now. Um, and, it, and that's what hurts to see, obviously. <clears throat> You don't want this to happen out of the gate with the beginning of the season. And it's, you know, you, you, they especially they started strong. Five games in a row they won there. And I hope they can get back on track. Forbes but. came out with their list of the most valuable franchises. Mm -hmm. 
The Indians are only worth $1.2 billion. Yeah, but they just don't, they don't have any money, you guys. They don't have any money to there's spend. There's a difference between working capital and value of franchise. Well, now, you can... They, no. they, you don't get that money till you sell the but team. But don't act like you're going car Are to car with the, the cardboard sign Sh saying, please help. Should we start a rumor right now? Yeah, let's do it. Get it together. Let's get a GoFundMe or Kickstarter going and I'll buy that team. We'll try uh, it. isn't back in town until April 19th when they face the Atlanta Braves. Coming up, some of our favorite moments from the queue. Wow, which, which, it's not the queue. What's Q the name of that place? I've never heard of it before. It's now The Rock. Wow. Baby. Manly. Stay with us. Good luck. Ohio, find it here. Uh -huh. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what Cleveland's Find it here. Find what? Cleveland's a plum and Ohio, find it here. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, just a little convo in between breaks here, everybody. Just sharing old hey, slogans. Hey, Mike, the Cavaliers are moving. Yep. They're moving into Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. A totally different venue. It is no longer the Q. Oh, uh, look at Oh, look at that effect. And I have dubbed it the Rock. Okay, good. That's great. That's that's fine. You know what? Oh, look it? at that. It's got like a music note in it and a basketball. They um, they really went all out with this graphic presentation. Let me say this, all right? That looks really nice. It's a huge improvement. I got a little sneak peek for the Mac tournament a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, it's still got a long ways to go, but it's going to be beautiful. It needed it 20 years later. It, yeah. it really and needed a face it. Now, it looks I, good. I understand you've come up with some names of your own. I did. Just in case you don't want to go with this one, uh, I don't remember what they were. Let's take a look. Oh, there they are. Oh, the Gilbertorium, the International <laughs> Tanking Active Crime Scene, or the Intentional Tanking, sorry. The At Least It's Not in Richfield <laughs> Arena, the Ante Zizic Lair, oh. and the J.R. Smith Memorial Coliseum. Those wow. were all my t my thoughts. I, I'm going to go Gilbertorium. The Gilbertorium? That is my favorite. You know I love Dan. That's I know you do. my favorite one. Yes, Michael, I, I appreciate that. Now. Best moment ever at the queue, we had to be this. Because uh, we didn't win the championship there. Right. But we did get our rings and we did raise a championship banner. Mike, finally, uh -huh. 52 years later. Yeah, I saw. Do you remember that night? I do. I remember that night I was there. I saw, um, but I've also seen some pretty good Fleetwood Mac concerts in there, so I wouldn't say it's just that. No, of course I remember that, but I also remember I was in that place when they um, put a uh, Z's number. Oh, yeah. And that was a great night. Yeah. And of course, it doesn't compare to this. And I was, in that. That. I was in that place when they put NBA up. NBA champion. That's also the place where they put up Larry Nance's number, and I was there. And that was, like, the, and that was amazing as well. But, so there have been a great, a well, lot of great moments there. Well, you go when they do LeBron's Whatever number. Whatever you call it. And it was the gunned when, they, when I saw Larry's number go there. So you can call it whatever you want. That's the place where we won our last championship, or our first championship over the last 60 years. And that, I mean, we didn't win it there, but that's where it happened. Will you go? When LeBron's jersey gets of course, retired. I'll go that he, he won me a championship. We pulled up your favorite moment. Oh, at here the it comes as well. Are you ready? Yeah, let's take a look at it. It stinks in here like the late '90s, and I hate this. Yeah. Now tell me how fun that was. Come on, you got to be a mascot. You're not, Whammer. Not just a mascot. That's Whammer. Whammer himself, the very briefly lived. Were you signing autographs? I was. Failed mascot from the 90s. You know what? Those mascots, by the way, from hanging out with them, they have ridiculously high self-esteem. They really do believe they're celebrities. It's un it's unbelievable. They're like, they think they're totally delusional. What? It's a whole world that you I don't like understand. Ketchup and mustard. And yeah, and they're just like, I've got a public. They really think that people are coming. There's like, I just love. They're, they like anything in. Kids like anything in a big costume, you arrogant mascots. Did kids like take pair pictures with you? That, did? Yeah, they did. And I got yelled at repeatedly for talking, I remember. They were just, apparently that was freaking kids out. Well, Mike, mercifully. I was giving life advice. Mercifully, the Cavs season has ended. Yes. <clears throat> and the big question now is who's going to be their head coach? I don't think Larry Drew wants the job. You don't think so? I don't. I will say this, though. I was so nervous when he took over because they were losing everything by 20. I thought Coach Drew did a real nice job keeping his team together. I thought they played some decent basketball down the stretch. Colin Sexton progressed uh, as much as any player in the league this year. Right. And I don't think the Cavs' future is as bad as a lot of people think it's going to be. I don't think it is either, especially considering the injury history this year. I mean, as soon as Love went down early in the season, you knew that this was a lost season. They thought about trying to sneak into the into the playoffs in the week east. And really, Larry Drew did a nice job. He steadied the ship. They had a bit of a rough patch at the beginning, if you recall, regarding his contract and right. everything. But it seemed like he kind of settled into the gig. And he did what they wanted him to do this year. You can't fire a guy 
when he, obviously his his motive. What are you saying, was Mike? Given, was, what are you saying, was Mike? To, was to make, uh, keep the locker room together, uh, make Colin Sexton get better, and lose basketball games. Damn. And they lost. Good here. job, Lair. He did. Good job, Lair. I have a couple of names who played on that team this year. They okay. had, he, had, he played with 27 dudes uh, off that bench, including Patrick McCall, Kobe Simmons. Yeah. And Andrew Harrison, yeah. all his household names, you know, yeah. like, so he wasn't working with the best quality either. And I think he did a decent job, all things considered. Did you write those down in notes on your phone? It's or what did off you my do? Blackberry, yeah. Very nice. Cavs, future should become a lot clearer when we win the draft lottery and Zion Williamson comes to Cleveland. Love that confidence. May 14th. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we're talking Kyrie, LeBron, and Crocs. That's all you need. Have you ever worn a pair of Crocs? Find out. You'll find out. Teaser. Stay with us. Yeah, dumb. I'm just... Mm-hmm. It's bad. Hey, now. The heart of it all was great. I, I'm, We're still I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, dri slogans. I was driving over the weekend. I saw Welcome to Ohio. Find it here. Find what? Very here. vague. Yeah, it leaves it up to the imagination. All right. W welcome back, folks. Time to spin the wheel. Oh, here we go. Spinning. There she goes. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh, your favorite. Not Johnny. Not Johnny mm -hmm. anymore. Mike, what do you make of the name change, John Manziel? Yeah, he tried to change his name. Johnny told it in an interview, said to an interviewer that he wanted to be John now to grow up. Here's what I'd say to that. You don't get to decide that. We decide when we start calling you wow, John Manziel. Still remember, bitter. You remember Silver? Still bitter. Remember the show Silver Spoons? Remember that? With when Ricky, do you stop with Ricky, being bitter with, with John? Ricky, Ricky Schroeder? Yes. He came out and said, I want to be Rick, Rick Schroeder, Schroeder now. I'm a serious actor. We're like, no, you're not. Yeah. You're Ricky Schroeder for the rest of your life. Uh, oh, uh -oh. Kyrie and LeBron. Right. Kyrie Irving said he could be visiting the Lakers this summer. Now, LeBron's had p p problems with people going out there and playing with him. Yes. Could there be a reunited Kyrie Irving and LeBron James? You know, I don't really know or care, but you know what I what did think when I saw this? Isn't it nice that this drama doesn't involve us? Like for once, I'm so. I don't know, I'm, but like if these, I was in the playoffs and I would, I would put like up with that the drama, too. I would like, put up with it. Know. But it, there is something refreshing about hearing this, and maybe it's real, maybe it's not. But just not having to give a damn about it. Who would cares? it make you mad? No, go to for see it. Them. He got me my ring, and Kyrie's a psycho. Go do whatever you got to do. I don't care. Spin it. There they go. Boom. Boy, I w I went to bed. I, I actually didn't go to bed, but somehow I missed the news the other night and. I wake up and Magic quit. He's president yeah. of the Lakers. I know. And it's he so just goes, weird. I just want to be Magic again. And I'm like, what? Yeah. What do you think LeBron's going back to the thinking? talk show, What is LeBron thinking? Yeah, and that's what he came there for. That's really messed up. That like that that was a weird way to do that. That was something that he, you know, I'm sure that was a big reason LeBron went out there. He uh, he idolized him. And then Magic's like, this is too much of a mess for me. Good luck, LeBron. Throws him the keys and just runs runs away. Ah, uh, spin it. Baby. You got one more. That's good. Ah, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, wow. Good, very LeBron, good pronunciation. No thanks. When he was offered a role in Space Jam 2, the Greek freak told him, and I quote, I don't like being oh, Hollywood. God, doesn't that sound amazing? Isn't that Think amazing? Think of people Milwaukee like that where of he plays. Of course they do. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I want as like an old man and uh, want to hear from my players is that that's all they want to do. It reminds me of Joe Thomas being drafted and hearing about it while on a fishing boat. One more. Yeah, let's do it. You knew he was going to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, after absolutely. That. Goth Crocs. Great band. Have you ever wore Crocs? Oh my gosh, I wasn't aware of these. Is this, are those from Kiss? Is that they're from the Kiss? They're brand new. They're brand new. It's yeah. the newest thing out. They're like 260 bucks. Is this like a fad? Is it a meme or something that somebody started? No, I don't understand. I would hate memes. to step on one of those things. That wouldn't be great. You, have you ever worn Crocs? It's just such a con. Uh, I don't think so. I don't believe I've ever worn them. I'm not against them as a as a thing, but it's a, it seems very contrary because they're known for their comfort. But then I seem like you're really getting some hassle yeah. on those, Riz. Well, you can wear your Crocs out at MGM Northfield Park, Michael. Let's yeah. see what's happening at our favorite casino. Love. MGM Northfield Park is where Northeast Ohio wins big and with M Life Rewards can go from the best location in the nation to the ultimate entertainment destination. Don't miss your chance to win an exclusive Las Vegas experience, a 2019 Range Rover, or up to $2,500 in free play. Introducing TAP at MGM Northfield Park. Enjoy comfort food and pub classics. Catch your favorite team on one of over 50 high-definition televisions while surrounded with 
with Ohio sports memorabilia. Don't miss all your favorite entertainers at the new Center Stage. Join the Real Housewives of New York's Countess Lou Anne and friends this Friday, April 19th at 8 p.m. Take a Vegas vacation without leaving the state. MGM Northfield Park, Las Vegas is here. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget to stay tuned uh, because our good friends, Big Chuck and Little John, <laughs> are coming up next. Michael, I believe <laughs> this week the Browns schedule will finally be released, and I feel like this has become the new draft. Right. Because the draft isn't a big deal this Not year. We don't have a pick on day one. What are you looking for? I'm, I'm looking for about four nationally televised games. I will expect uh, the Monday nighter, uh, the, the Browns will be on. But I think the Browns and Patriots is going to be a Sunday night game. That'd be awesome. And that's the biggest audience of the season. So yeah. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I mean, they got we've got the spotlight, folks. Yep. Enjoy it. Yep. All right, folks, All right. have a good one. Yeah, don't forget, Tuesdays at Hilarity. Yeah, come and check it out. Good to be alive. Good night, everybody. Good night.